SpaceX has opened the door to even larger versions of the Starship thanks to a revolutionary new prototype for the Raptor engine. The new version, referred to as Raptor 3, promises to be many times more powerful and efficient than its previous iterations. In today's video, let's talk about this incredible new engine and how it may help the Starship become the most powerful rocket in history. Could these engines help the Starship go beyond Mars? SpaceX's Starship is set to revolutionize human exploration of Mars, offering an unprecedented level of access to the Red Planet. Developed by SpaceX, the Starship is a stainless steel vehicle consisting of a giant rocket booster and even larger spaceship that can carry up to 100 people and about 100 tons of cargo. When fully operational, the craft will be capable of traveling to Mars in as little as six months, allowing for quick and cost-effective transportation of people, supplies, and scientific equipment. The Starship is also equipped with advanced landing technology, which allows it to touch down on the Martian surface with pinpoint accuracy. This technology is expected to drastically reduce the risk of landing mishaps and ensure the safety of all personnel on board. The Starship is currently in its testing phase and is expected to be ready for its first mission by 2022. Once operational, it will become the most advanced spacecraft ever created, providing humanity with an unprecedented level of access to Mars. With its revolutionary capabilities, the Starship could be a major step forward in the exploration of the Red Planet and beyond. SpaceX has made constant upgrades to the Starship in its developmental history. The craft could now be getting a new version of the Raptor engines, which could be the most significant change to the vehicle yet. The improved Raptor 3 engine has reached 350 bar of pressure and 269 tons of thrust. Raptor 2 engines that were previously used on the Starship were achieving 230 tons of thrust consistently by February 2022, although SpaceX expects to be able to tune engine parameters and design over time to achieve at least 250 tons. Moreover, Musk indicated that the engine production cost was approximately half that of the Raptor 1 version SpaceX had been using in 2018 through 2021. In June 2022, Musk tweeted that 250 tons were achievable. The Saturn V rocket generated 34.5 million newtons of thrust in its operational history, making it the most powerful launch vehicle in history. The Starship Super Heavy Booster with Raptor 3 engines would have 2.56 times the thrust of the Saturn V if successful. Elon Musk stated that SpaceX started building a massive, water-cooled steel plate to go under the launch mount, which will hopefully be able to withstand the force of such a launch. He suggested it would be ready for installation before the next launch attempt in one to two months. The billionaire CEO had said in 2020 that there would be no need to use such a flame diverter to steer the flames on the ground, but acknowledged that could be the wrong decision. Other launch sites in the United States, such as SpaceX's own pads at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, use flame divers, which are large, cavernous hallways leading away from a rocket's underside, to steer its tail of fiery forces in a controlled path aimed at minimizing damage. Without such a plan, debris kicked up during liftoff could strike the rocket itself and compromise the mission in public safety. If future tests are successful, the power of the Raptor 3 engines could allow SpaceX to construct even larger starships in the future. The SpaceX Super Heavy Starship will be able to launch 100 tons into orbit on a fully reusable basis, but Elon plans the follow-up to be four to eight times bigger. Elon tweeted that Starship version 2.0 will be 18 meters in diameter instead of nine. This would mean the area of the cross-section would be four times higher. If the height was also doubled, then it would have nine times the volume. The engines would likely be upgraded for the Ultra Heavy Starship 2.0. This means the next rocket might be able to launch over 1,000 tons per launch. This would be about twice the payload of the Sea Dragon. The Sea Dragon was a 1962 conceptualized design study for a two-stage sea-launched orbital Super Heavy Lift launch vehicle. The project was led by Robert Truax while working at Aerojet. It would have had a payload capacity of 550 tons. It would have been 150 meters tall and 23 meters in diameter. The SpaceX Super Heavy Starship 2.0 may also be limited in height, as the rocket's height is limited by thrust per area. This could mean that SpaceX Super Heavy Starship 2.0 may also end up very near the Sea Dragon in capacity. In 2016, SpaceX had a 12-meter diameter ITS rocket design. It was designed to launch 300 tons to orbit, and with refueling, it could launch 450 tons to Mars. 
The ITS was about double the volume of the current Starship Super Heavy, but had three times the payload. If the 18-meter Starship 2.0 had similar scaling, then it would have nine times the payload of the Starship. A 240-meter tall rocket would be twice as tall as the Woolworth Building in New York, and about 75% as tall as the Eiffel Tower, and twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty. SpaceX continues to look for more ways to make the Starship even more powerful in the future. Recently, the company announced it may have discovered a new method of rocket propulsion. SpaceX says it has created a thruster system that defies physics and has successfully tested it. The rocket propulsion system uses electrically charged gas and can achieve speeds up to 65 kilometers per second or about 135,000 miles per hour. The engine's made from super lightweight carbon fiber fuel tanks with cold gas thrusters. It doesn't use any type of propellant, meaning it does not expel any byproducts into space. Instead, the engine produces thrust by accelerating superheated plasma with magnetic fields, which also means no fumes are being expelled from combustion. These types of engines are known as electric thrusters, but they work very differently from those used in SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. These thrusters create thrust by propelling pressurized gas, whereas electric ones produce a charged plasma that emits ions to push a craft forward. The electric engine developed by SpaceX is reportedly more powerful than conventional gridded ion thrusters and could power manned missions to Mars and beyond. It can also cut down on travel time for spacebound cargo because it requires less propellant, which can be expensive to launch into orbit. The technology is still being tested and further development is needed before it will be ready for spaceflight. It has been submitted for peer review and NASA experts think it has potential, at least on paper. Some say it's impossible to travel at high speeds through space, but that hasn't stopped Elon Musk from claiming he can do it. His idea is to create a light-speed engine that will take us to Mars in just 70 days. Such an engine defies physics and would mean traveling faster than 186,000 miles per second. There are a few ways that we could travel at light speed, but first, we need to understand how light works. As it travels through space, every atom in its path interacts with it. This slows it down and even stops it completely if there's no matter around to pass through. Because of these interactions, light has a maximum velocity of 186,000 miles per second, meaning that's as fast as it can go through space. Since nothing can travel faster than light without breaking the rules of physics, if we want to catch up with a distant star in our lifetime, we have to find another way to get there besides traveling directly toward it. The SpaceX founder's ultimate vision is to use a fleet of starships to send one million humans to Mars by 2050. To be clear, Musk doesn't just want to establish a place for people to visit, but a self-sustaining city. He imagines that, with a bit of warming, humans could restore a thick atmosphere and oceans on Mars, making it a more hospitable environment and even able to grow crops. There's a fundamental juncture in the history of really any civilization on a single planet, which is, do you get to the second planet or do you not? Musk told the National Academies in 2021, I propose we do, and I think we should do it as soon as possible. The spacecraft would be spacious enough for 100 passengers along with their luggage, plus the materials to build homes, businesses, rocket fuel stations, and iron foundries. The journey getting there would be long, Musk said, but the Starship would have entertainment such as zero-gravity games, movies, lectures, and a restaurant. Musk envisions fleets of Starships flying multiple times per day here on Earth, their super-heavy boosters coming directly back to the launch mount after each liftoff for rapid inspection, refueling, and relaunch. Such extensive reuse could theoretically bring the cost of each Starship mission down to just a few million dollars, Musk has said. That price point would be truly revolutionary considering Starship's power. It would be capable of lifting 165 tons to Earth orbit on each mission in its reusable configuration. To put the vehicles broad into perspective, Super Heavy's 33 Raptors generate about 16.5 million tons of thrust at liftoff. That's nearly twice as much as the previous record holder, NASA's Space Launch System Mega Rocket, which flew for the first time last November on the Artemis 1 moon mission. SpaceX has already sold two private around-the-moon Starship missions as well. One was booked by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Meizawa, who will fly with a crew of eight artists and influencers. Dennis Tito, who paid his way to the International Space Station back in 2001, will fly on the other Starship moon mission along with his wife Akiko and other passengers whose identities have not yet been disclosed. Target launch dates for those two private moon missions have not yet been announced, but they and all of Starship's other envisioned future flights are a little closer to reality now that the huge vehicle has gotten off the ground. Space tourism is a relatively new concept and has only become possible in recent years due to advancements in technology. 
In the past, only astronauts and professional space travelers had the opportunity to experience the thrill of space travel. But now, with companies like SpaceX offering private missions to space, the dream of space travel is becoming a reality for more and more people. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about the FAA's punishment for SpaceX. Do you think the Raptor 3 is powerful enough for larger starships? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.